Oh, hey, YouTube. You thought I was going to start this episode, but just kidding. Cue the montage. What's really good? I'm in Vivid Color, and today I'm back with the ninth episode of my Pokemon Y Wonderlock. Before this episode started, I had a little bit of a grinding montage, slash, I went and got some items that I just missed before, and one of them was Cut, which I think is pseudo-important, so there's that. And then I was just trying to proceed on this route a little bit to save, and then sort of shut down and regather my thoughts before... I uh, came back, and as it turns out, I triggered an event. And Tierno has already said uh, the first line, so we're just going to pick up right here. <clears throat> oh, hey, Color. Truff said he wanted to double check out the Pokemon take here. Come with us. He wanted to double check out? It would be great if I could speak. <laughs> oh, don't you just love really, cut, really good cutscenes that you need? <clears throat> oh, this is the Pokemon take here. That's the care of Pokemon for you here. Yes, indeed, you can leave up to two Pokemon here at once. I seem to remember something good can happen if you leave two Pokemon here. That's right, something we'll find a new sometimes we'll find a new addition, like an egg. If you carry that egg around, a Pokemon will emerge from it. Wow, a Pokemon will come out? Maybe I'll leave some Pokemon here. Having the same Pokemon with the same moves might step up my dance. How about you, Color? Uh, some other time. Not about it. <laughs> There aren't many Pokemon I want to raise. I'll try some other occasion. That's one way to look at it. Well, I'm gonna go look for some Pokemon to add to my dance team. So wait, this dude's just raising a Pokemon dance team? It's logical. <clears> hey, <throat> wait, Tano, wait up! Man, I wish I had a friend that just wanted to travel with me. Like, they travel together. I have no one. I'm alone. I mean, I have my team of Pokemon, but they have each other. I have no human interaction. It's me versus the world. It's lonely out here. So, I'm pretty sure there are some trainers that we can battle on this route. Uh, I already got my encounter last episode, I'm pretty sure. Do I want to battle these people? Unclear. Let's see. You, fight me. <clears throat> I guess it just became clear. A heated battle against a traveling trainer should provide me with just the inspiration I need. So, something I realized is that during the battle scenes, I've been not paying much attention at all. And I'm probably going to lose Pokemon due to that, unless I sort of just... Tighten up a little bit. Like, just tighten up my play a little bit during battles. So, oh, I also needed to do... I'll, I just completely forgot... Oh my, what What just happened? Oh, he had... Was that Vine Whip? It sounded like the Vine Whip animation. Again, I just wasn't paying attention. Uh, I'm going to switch because I'm pretty sure that was Vine Whip. Uh, as you can see, before I team recapped, since I just kind of like jumped into a cutscene, I leveled up my team a little bit. I'm trying to keep everybody under 20 right now because I know that we're going to have to go through the, uh, whatever cave we go through. I don't really remember what it's called. The cave with all the fossils and the one that Team Flare is in. I know we have to go through that cave. Oh my god, what is this guy just like an... 
Moral of the story is I'm trying to keep my team under 20 because I know the next gym is level 25s and I don't want to be over leveled by the time I get there. And now I'm upset. I'm just upset. Alright, trigger flash fire. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna body you. I'm going to flare blitz you into the next dimension. Oh, guess what? That power is up, idiot. It's fire type moves. Nice knowing ya. I hate this. I don't even think I have a burn heal on me to, one, heal myself from the sick burn that was just dealt to me from that Smeargle, and two, to actually heal the burn that my Hone Edge currently has. <laughs> We're just running mono-physical Kulava at this point. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Ember. <laughs> I know it's special, but I'm pretty sure that his, his special and physical attack can't be so different right now that Flame Wall is just not automatically better at this point. I'm hoping. Everybody leveled up this... What is going on? Every single... This just increases speed, right? Yeah, that's not something I'm into. I think I will forget. I will forget... No, I will keep old moves. I will forget learning automatize, is what I meant to say. I just can't speak. I haven't had my coffee. <clears throat> Excellent. Thanks. It's been ages since I worked up a good sweat like that from a Pokemon battle. Oh, okay. So, before I go any further and sort of just forget to do this even more, uh, my team currently is... I have got... <clears throat> my team currently is a Psyduck, who I got to level 17, and he learned Confusion. Uh, Zora learned Faint Attack, and I got him up to level 17 as well. Hone Edge is level 18 and learned nothing. Kulava is level 20, learned nothing except just now Flame Wheel. Rhyhorn level 19, learned nothing. And Munchlax level 18 and learned Chip Away, which is 30 base power more than Tackle, unless Tackle's 50. Tackle might be 50, I'm unsure. In that case, it's 20 base power more, so I just deleted Tackle and <clears throat> learned Chip Away. I'm gonna go heal up, because even if I have a burn heal, there's a Pokemon Center so close that it seems irrelevant to heal up right just to use medicine to cure this. I'm all kinds of tripping over my words today. It would be great if I could just master the English language. Thank you. I've never, under like, not even once, even when I was a little kid, I've never understood when they hand you your Pokemon back and they say, we'll hope to see you again, they realize that they're just telling you they hope that your Pokemon get injured again and you have to come back and heal them. I mean, that's pretty dark, right? That's not just me, right? That's honestly pretty dark. All right, so now we're going to go not what I wanted to do. We have to talk about the battle, Chateau. And then we have to make it through the cave. I really wanted to make it to the next town in this episode, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Oh, here's Artist Family. They're such an artsy family. I'm so glad that you paint together and things. This is actually my Zora, right? I'm pretty sure this is actually my Zora. Alright. We'll water gun this one, and we're just going to switch this guy out. Alright, cool. Wait. I just got pursued. I just got read like a book. Are these guys following my Twitter? Because they're reading me. By the way, you should follow my Twitter. It's at InVividColor. I just post when I release my videos, so it's like a nice way to keep up with when I'm releasing things. Shameless self-plug. I don't know what the other Smeargle did. But I'm just going to Dragon Rush this guy, Water Gun the other guy. It's going to be a good time. It looks like these Smeargles are on Mono Pursuit Aggro. Okay. Cool guy Smeargle getting the attack boost off Metal Claw. Please, thank you. These are the most annoying battles in North America. Most annoying battles in A. 
see, I'm getting really worried that my team's getting too high. But the good news is we're about to snatch up another encounter. Maybe I can replace someone that's like over leveled for I just stomped a blank space because I'm talking. Maybe I can replace someone that's slightly over leveled for a while with someone that's not. And then, you know, level them up for a while. That way I just have type diversity. This is all under the assumption that the Pokemon I get over Wonder Trade is a type that I don't currently have in my party. That's not entirely guaranteed. <laughs> Alright, level 18. Water Pulse. Thank you. Now this Psyduck is actually good. This Psyduck is actually good now. Oh my god, everybody's gonna be level 20. I'm gonna be so overleveled. I'm gonna blow back every gym leader. I've got to slow down. I've got to start skipping trainer battles. I can't think of I can't think of any other way to not be overleveled and just make this unfun for me and you. Oh, this is not what I want in my life. <clears throat> did, did, did you know about this building? It's called the Battle Chateau. I swear, it's famous for being a place where trainers gather to improve their skills. If I learn even more about Pokemon, I'm sure I'll be able to defeat Kalos' eight gym leaders. Excuse me? Did those two thoughts correlate with one another? I'm not entirely sure they did. <clears throat> if you don't mind, I'd like everyone to have a Pokemon battle. Now, how should we pair up? Hmm. Let's go with Tierno and Trebs versus Color and me. Sure, but honestly, this is kind of just like, oh hey, we're the two good people. Let's pick on the people that are just worse than us. <laughs> That's... That's how this is. It's like the two protagonists, the two main protagonists, I guess, versus the two side characters. But you lead with a Fletchling, you have a starter. Also, there's a Pikachu on the field. Can I even stay in? I can't even really do damage here. Oh, I'm switching to Munchlax. I, I should have mentioned I my Munchlax is holding the amulet coin. I just wanted it to hold something so that its friendship would go up faster, and, you know, it gives me more money in battles. So, I figured, why not? This Fletchling's straight up gonna die. Right? You're gonna die. Yeah, this Fletchling... If this becomes a 2v1, I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna get rid of the Pikachu first, because it deals with more things on my party. Is that even true? That might not even be true. The core fish might do better damage against most things on my party. Yeah, this Fletchling is dead. Do you have another Pokemon? How trash are you? How much is this chip weight gonna do? Oh, that animation is... Every single time I touch a Pikachu, I get paralyzed. Every. Single. Time. Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe I should have targeted on the core fish, so it could have been 2v1 on our side. Yeah, cool. You have a starter. Think, why don't you lead with that? Alright, I'm chipping away this full baby. Can you do something relevant? No, I guess not. Oh, good. If I get fully paralyzed, I'm gonna scream. Okay. That animation is dope. I don't think I've ever used chip away in a game. It looks so intense. My Munchlax is focusing on chipping away at the health of the enemy Pokemon. Alright. Let's knock this thing out so that I can move along and get in my cave and get my encounter. That's all I really want in life. Also, something I thought of while playing earlier when I was grinding is if I run into a shiny, I want it to be known I'm catching it and I'm using it. Because if I run into a full odds shiny, I see no reason for me to trade that off. I'm going to use it. I will gladly send it out to a fan or someone that comments on a video towards the end of the series. Once the series is over, what I'm trying to say is I will gladly send it out to a fan. But until then, I'm definitely just going to keep it. Oh, good. We got so much money. What? Oh! It's all happening right now. It's all happening. It's all happening. I just won the game. Can't lose the lot. Guaranteed. Done. I'm so glad this didn't happen off camera. Can't lose. 
Can't lose. Welcome to the squad, Snorlax. We've been waiting. Oh, so I'm actually getting an important phone call, and on that note, I will be right back. Okay, I know it's cut for you, but for me, it's gonna take a little bit longer, but just one more minute. It's really important. My mom's bringing me a crock pot. I'll be able to cook things in crock pots. It's important. Okay, and all of a sudden, like I never left, I'm back. It's video editing magic. All right, <laughs> let's get right back into this. It sure is interesting to see how different each... <clears throat> That's not even right. <clears throat> oh, oh my God. It sure is interesting to see how different each trainer's style is. Well, I guess we should head to off to Embrat Town then. Yes, thank you, let me progress. Uh, can I get an encounter up here? Or is this, this is the same, this is the same route, yeah? Is there a sweet item up here? Oh no, this is just a part of the cave I have to take. Got that Zubat Roost. All right. Let's see what we can get. You heal me, right? Woo I So I love and hate field healers because, I mean, I love them because they're convenient. I hate them because I feel like they make the game almost too easy. Can we get an encounter, please? Okay. And I was about to say our encounter for Zubat Roost Connecting Cave is, I wasn't, I was gonna butcher it because I had to stop and slow down and think about that as I said it, I was I was gonna butcher it. Um, but what I really mean is I'm gonna, whoa, I don't think I can water pulse this thing. I'm going to catch this guy, then wonder trade him off, and then we're gonna see what our encounter is. Also, this will give us a chance to check out that Charmander that I probably should have checked out before this episode started. I was about to be so angry, I would, if this Psyduck knocks something out that could have potentially been an encounter that is better than this Psyduck, I would just release him. I'm already upset. Alright. Let's let's get going while well, the going's good to get. You know what I'm saying? Alright. As per use, our nickname is Vivid Lock. That way people can find our awesome Why Wonder Lock by typing in Vivid Lock into YouTube. I'm, I haven't even checked that to see if that's a thing, and I kind of doubt anyone else would check it. Now we're gonna go ahead and fire up the Wonder Trade system, and we are going to see what we get. I kinda, oh, I, I, I just remembered. I have to start calling out what I'm gonna get off Wonder Trade. That way I can lose it when it actually happens. I've still got plenty of Wonder Trades left in the series. Don't worry, I haven't forgot. I'm so excited that this Munchlax evolved. The server is currently undergoing maintenance. We apologize for any inconvenience. Please try again later. My whole life is over. My whole series is ruined. No, seriously, what's going on? Disconnecting from the internet? No, 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 do it again, do it again. I'm gonna run it back one more time. Check save your game, yes. Is there scheduled maintenance today that I didn't know about? Oh man, what a drag. Okay, I guess we'll try towards the end of the episode and if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Doesn't Nintendo know that they're ruining my life right now? Don't they know that they're actively ruining my entire life? Oh, I have an encounter right here too. I'm missing so many encounters. <clears throat> ah, we didn't mean to surprise you. How are you and Psyduck doing? <clears throat> Haven't you wondered how a single Pokedex could possibly cover a region as big as Kalos? Well, it can't, idiot. That's why we are here to power up your Pokedex. The Coastal Pokedex was added to Vivid's Pokedex. The Coastal Kalos Pokedex will be on your Pokedex menu, so tap it to select it. New encounters help people and Pokemon grow and mature. We'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage. Those two dudes are... Well, dudes slash humans. Those two humans are in uh, Sun and Moon, right? It's like confirmed. 
I haven't watched all the trailers, but I'm pretty sure that one of the trailers I did watch, they are in. Also, I kind of wish I could just keep this Drifloon. Drifloon is a sweet, sweet Pokemon. I don't think this confusion will kill. Drifloon and Drifloon are kind of really bulky. Yeah, I probably could Water Pulse it. Ooh, hurt yourself. Hurt yourself, I'll confuse you again, we'll catch you, it'll all be a good time. No, just kidding. I just really hope this puts you in the yellow. I just don't want to waste any Pokeballs at this point. I've already done that once or thrice. Okay, cool. Now hurt yourself. Yeah, now stop hitting yourself, because now I need to catch you. Alright. Pokeball go! I have a friend. Oh, this is going to segue into... A plug for my friend's YouTube channel. His name is Sneaky Pokemon, Sneaky PKM, Sneaky Pokemon, essentially. And every time we're playing, oh, I have to throw a, a higher quality ball this time. Every time we're playing Pokemon, do I not have any great balls? Is that something I don't have? Oh, I don't. What a bummer. It's not summer. Um, every time we're playing Pokemon Go together in real life, he throws a ball at something and he just says. Get in the ball, stay in the ball, ball is life. It doesn't work. Anyways, uh, since I'm mentioning him, I feel obligated to go ahead and mention that he currently has a promotion running where if he hits 50 subscribers on his YouTube channel by the time Pokemon Sun and Moon come out, he will give away a copy of Sun and Moon. And then he has a stretch goal for if he hits 100, he will give away either the copy that didn't get selected, or a Steam gift card. The first person can also choose a Steam gift card that's equal value of Pokemon Sun and Moon. I just always forget to mention that in a proper sequence. Um, anyways, uh, while I'm still talking about him, his channel, I think, currently has 43 subs, so he's only 7 away from his sub goal. Uh, just, he's on my featured channel, on my page. Go find him, sub to him, it'll be a great time. Because you have a chance to get free things. Awesome. Oh, can that... I'm, I, I feel like I want to try and wonder trade again, but it's I'm just going to be disappointed, right? Like, it's not going to happen? What Psydum? Can I get it? Oh, I didn't want to fight anyone. I feel like my entire life is over all over again. I don't want to fight you, Rising Star Paulette. I don't want to body your Axew. Okay, okay, fine. If I must, I will destroy you. Oh, it's level 19? It's on par with me? I'm all kinds of messed up currently. I'm gonna send out this Snorlax! Big boy hit the field! Whew. If I could nickname you, it would be Big Boy. Right now. I hate... That's 40, right? Okay. I will survive even another Dragon Rage, but I promise you are not surviving this chip away. Why do you have Dragon Rage? You... I promised. I, I lied. Is this thing gonna take a life? 50... Okay, so looking at this, oh, that's a miserable, okay, I'm just going to heal. Is this Axew actually going to take a life? Yeah, because it outspeeds. I d okay, I think I have to switch out into Kulava. And then I think I have to bank on the fact that I'm going to outspeed. And then I think I have to nature power. I don't know what nature power transforms into right now. Oh, cool. All right, just, okay, I'll survive a dragon rage. I just can't, I'm pretty sure I outspeed. I just can't go for flare blitz in case this isn't a one shot. I don't even know what nature power is currently. Just don't be energy ball, earth power. That's what I, I, I kind of assume but I didn't want to call that out and be an idiot. I legitimately thought this Axie was taking a life. It was going to devour a soul. 
ask you straight to Ubers. It's broken. Okay. You know, maybe I was wrong. Maybe we will make it to Ambright Town today. Or maybe we won't. It depends on how many wild encounters we run into. I think I only have to hop over some, like, rocks, right? It's like a hop, skip, and a step. As the... As the cool kids say. As literally no one that's cool has said ever. Also, I just want it to be known, uh, if you're this far into the episode... I already caught some of this route, right? Yeah. Uh, I would have missed it anyways, because I just ran away from the encounter. If you are this far into the episode, and you are just dying to know what these wonder trades are, I'm not going to upload this episode without having done them, so I don't care if that means that three hours later I come and I record the wonder trades and sort of tack them on at the end of this episode, you're going to get the wonder trades in this episode. I promise. Oh, I don't want to keep battling people. I'm going to be so overleveled, Dad. Oh my gosh. He's breaking all the molds. All right, we're going to water pulse you into oblivion. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, you survived. Arm thrust. We live in, right? Just any day now. Thank you. Water Pulse looks like a two-hit KO. Unless that was a high roll. Alright. We nailing it. Alright, what you got? What else you got? God, now the Psyduck's level 20. Skiddo. Alright, we'll switch. Uh, let's give this Hone Edge some love. I can Fury Cutter the crap out of the Skiddo. It'll be a good time. Basically, I just don't want to keep leveling up the same things that are already over level 20. I wish I had metronome. That way I could just metronome fury cutter everything to be that one scrub kid that you battled one time that thought fury cutter metronome was great. <laughs> that was that was that was me at one point. All right. Whatever you send in after this, please don't be, like, don't resist Fury Cutter. That way I can just stay in, Fury Cutter you, one-shot you. We'll just have fun. We'll have fun. Goldine, cool. All right, we getting it. We living. I feel like I did a lot of damage. We living. I ain't got no worries. Now I have all the worries. Every single worry is currently within me. Also, why why is super, if I use supersonic on one of my Pokemon, it's 55% accurate. It's going to miss 45% of the time. If an enemy or something that is ran off AI uses supersonic, it is 100% accurate. And if it's a Zubat in a cave, it's 150% accurate, as in can't miss ever. You are going to get confused. I hate you. I don't I don't like you. Alright, I'm gonna pop No, I'm not gonna pop a repel. I should have popped a repel. I immediate regret. Immediate regret. I'm super tired of this Absol man, it's taunting me. I could have it. I could find its mega stone. We could be best friends, Absol. You and I. I don't know why I went that way. I am a fool. Okay. Oh, I don't want to fight you. Alright. So... Yeah, I'm going to pop a repel. I'm making it to Ambright Town in this episode. Am I? Did I buy repels? I feel like I did. Yeah. Oh, I have the quick call I could put on someone. That was one of the things I should have said. I went and got the quick call, the wide lens. Alright. I can come back and deal with all these idiots later. Or not. It's not like I'm dying for the experience. I wonder what that item is. 
wonder if it's worth getting. I'm gonna say hard no. All right, awesome. Oh my God, there's a cutscene. I don't know who this is. Is this Serena or is this Shauna? Hi there, neighbor. This is Ambrite Town. You just got you just got through the aquarium to get to Silage City, but first we should go to the fossil lab and have them tell us about fossils. We might even learn something about those mysterious stones related to Mega Evolution. And then can we please meet in the coffee shop for a coffee date? All right, so I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna heal up real quick, and then we are calling it an episode. I am kind of hoping this episode didn't run over super long because there was a long period of time in the middle where I was receiving a crock pot. <laughs> the things I'm saying right now. Anyways, I, I don't know where we're at currently as far as time is concerned in this, this, this universe, so. Uh, anyways, if you have followed along with me this far, thank you so much. If you're enjoying what I'm doing, please go ahead and just demolish that like button. And if you're kind of lurking or you're new here, go ahead and subscribe because all that's going to change is you're just going to see my face a little bit more. And let's be honest, that's a good thing. Anyways, uh, everything aside, I'm going to, I'm, oh, what's my outro? Oh, <laughs> everything aside, I'm kind of done here. So I got to leave. Bye. I know you didn't think that I was going to forget about these wonder trades, did you? Absolutely not. Uh, as you can tell, I have changed clothes because I have gone to do things and come home and showered and laid in bed and then thought, oh, hey, I forgot to do those wonder trades. So actually, I'm lying. I kind of did forget about them. But regardless, I remembered and I got up. And now we are going to wonder trade the two encounters we had off. So, uh... Let's see, it was the Zubat, correct? Yes, the Zubat and the Triflin. Awesome. So, oh, also let me check out this Charmander real quick. Uh, he's, he's not special. Okay. All right. Without anything else, let's wonder trade these bad boys off. And as per usual, I gotta take a drink of something while this is happening. Also, I'm feeling a, I'm feeling a cool fish. I want a quillfish right now. I want a quillfish to replace my Psyduck with. Is that... Is that unfair? Should I not say that? I don't know, man. Psyduck just takes so long to evolve. I really like quillfish. Alright, let's go, France. Come on. Bring it in. Cheers. Oh, well... I probably can't use this. Most likely cannot use this. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and no matter what, if I can use this or not, I'm gonna trade off the Drifloom first. Uh, once I see this thing's level, I'll decide whether or not I'm gonna keep it. Okay. Let's fire back up. Yes. Do I just wanna start a wonder trade? I do. I actually do. Uh, it's 42, so I cannot use it. Um, I'm, I'm going to ship it, but I'm going to... No, I'm just going to ship it now. Ship it right now. I could have kept it, but I already have a Kulava in my team and a Charmander in the box for a fire type. And I already have a Rhyhorn that's not going to die because I'm going to take excellent care of it. So I see no reason to keep this camera up. I just don't. Yo! Crystal Star. She's from Minnesota. I tried to get a little bit of that accent going. I'm not entirely sure if it worked. Alright. Ship me something good. Bring it in. I'm just gonna be mono. I'm gonna be mono fire type dot deck. We're playing mono red aggro. Okay. Oh, good. It's got another Asian name that I... I'm, whatever, I call them by their their god-given name, if you will. <laughs> Alright, and now we're going to ship off this Drifloon, and then we're going to wrap it up. <laughs> it's so awkward for me to have paused a recording and then come back several, 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 several hours later to pick it back up. Uh, this full pixel's level 1. Oh, it's got drought. It's jolly, so that's... That's bad, but it's got drought. So this Vulpix is actually, this Vulpix is actually getting us places. This Vulpix is actually good, kind of. I mean, it's it's 
got a physical, like, well, it, it increases speed, but it's more geared toward physical attackers. All right, let's see. Uh, how about how about a solid? Uh, let's see. I want a gibble. I want a gibble. Give me a gibble. No, no, no. Give me a tyrant. I want a tyrant. I changed my mind. No gibble. Tyrant. Okay. Maybe it's level thirty-five. Maybe I can't use it. That's kind of what we're hoping for currently. How do you gonna? I don't even know. I, I I only know how you evolve this thing in Ruby and Sapphire. I have no clue how you evolve in this game. Can you make it feel beautiful? I'm actually just gonna check it up. Like while I'm here, I'm just gonna look at it real quick, and maybe if we're lucky, we can get rid of it. Only if we're lucky. Survey says we have to keep it. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, that could have gone over better, but, uh, again, thank you so much for sticking around. Just demolish that like button, show it all the support, and if you're new here, just go ahead and subscribe, because you're just gonna see me more. I've already given this spiel, I shouldn't give it twice. Alright, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, so, have a good day.